kids and from the useless crafter today we're going to be working on artist spree sublimation products so i'm super excited to show you that um, before we get started though if you haven't subscribed please do i appreciate all the support that we can get all right so since i last talked to you guys which is um, for sublimation probably in april maybe even in march so i went to creativation which i know you guys remember and i showcased all the products that i saw there that piqued my interest um, but this one's going to be specific on artist free so um, if you remember before i would use the sublimation ink in black to do all the stamping so i would take my the my current selection of stamps and then put it on a coaster right i would stamp it and then color it in with the markers and then put it on my blank well they have now come out with all these colors so we have we have the black still we have purple red yellow pink green orange brown and blue which makes it so cool because now like especially with kid projects you know what i really like to do is and i'm gonna put these away because we're gonna be painting um is like i like things with their fingerprints so now you can use these ink pads for fingerprint projects that will now be permanent and you know they can be on ornaments like all that stuff that you know as sentimental moms um and you know like my parents love getting stuff like that uh from my daughter's like my daughter's artwork all right the other thing i want to show you today though is their paint now when they first came out with the paint and i heard about it i could not wrap my head around how sublimation would work with paint because paint is wet and i just didn't get it <laughs> but basically yes it's paint paint however you normally would paint it comes with these five colors so it's black red blue white and yellow so if you recognize what's going on here is basically with these three colors you can make at least this color chart plus an endless amount of colors right by adding white to make it lighter adding different uh, proportions to make it darker lighter all that um so yeah i mean it's sort of like um it, it allows you to be super super creative right before like you know with these i'm using my stamps or my fingerprints things like that but here you can use your paintbrush you can do any basically any technique that you know to paint now i'm not a painter myself but what this allows me to do how i use it how i've been using it is basically for my home decor I'm able to mix colors that I like that goes with my house and pretty much do all my coasters and I can paint on you know onto a piece of paper and then transfer it to a sublimation blank pillow so that everything is coordinated now and that's what we're gonna do today that we are doing a it's a bottle opener that's the sublimation blank of the month from artist spree but it's metal you can hear it right it just has a coat on top that allows it to take the sublimation so all right these are the colors give me one more second i'm gonna go grab i'm not gonna use these i'm gonna grab something else so i'm sorry i thought i had it one second because I am part of the blank of the month design team, I get gigantic paint bottles. <laughs> so I don't wanna get into my nice bottles yet, um, but I'm gonna show you how this works. So I have this paper that's sort of like for mixing paint. I have my cheat sheet here, but I know some colors that I really, really like. I like this emerald green and I like my grays. And I'm gonna do a combo of that to show you my new art project. And so it's really cool because it, I, I like abstract art um, partially because especially if I'm creating it, <laughs> um, you know, like I said, I'm not a painter, so, um, but I want to become a painter. So here is my black. I'm going to put it down. Okay. And then I'm going to use that to mix it later. And then I'm going to get my white because I know I want some white on here. And this is so fun like even though like I said I'm not a painter I've had so much fun 
um, with the creative process of mixing my paint and I don't know, just sort of, you know, taking the paintbrush and kind of just creating something. It's been a lot of fun for me. So I think that you guys will enjoy this. What is super cool too is I'll do my project and then I'll take this sheet and I'll give it to my daughter. So there's still a little paint goes a long ways. Like I'm, I'm putting out a lot of paint here, but I want you to be able to see it. Um, okay. So, and then I do these two. Um, so I will give her my, my palette. And then she'll go and create something and we'll go and we'll put it on a polyester shirt. We'll iron it, press it onto a, a polyester shirt and all of a sudden her artwork stays forever, right? Because with sublimation, we know that it, it won't peel off. It won't, um, it doesn't matter how you wash it, right? It's permanent. And so I, I mean, I just love it. I mean, because I save everything anyway. But now she she's worn her shirts to school. She's super proud of it. And also, I haven't done with the paints. I have not done it with any of my student groups that I work with. Um, but I think that they would enjoy it a lot. Like I, you know, um, I think you guys know, I will work with Girl Scout troops and do a fun craft with them. And um, I also do a part of a school lunch program where the kids who don't want to go to the playground, um, they have alternatives like taking a craft class with me. So uh, we've done sublimation, but we haven't done the paints. So, all right, I know I want to do the emerald green and I want to do a gray and I want to mix the two colors to do my abstract art on my bottle opener. So right now I'm just going to be mixing the colors. So I'm actually going to put the white over here and then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one to mix it. Now the other thing with sublimation that you guys may remember, if you use any kind of um, like infusible ink sheets or the markers from Artist Free is that the colors right now, they're gonna come out, they look muted but they will be more vibrant once we hit the heat. So you're gonna to get to know your projects and your colors more. Um, you can just use the color chart that comes on the website um, that will tell you, you know, like one portion of white to 10 portions of black and you'll get a gray and then you'll start to know your colors. All right, so that's gonna be good for me. I'm gonna mix these two right here and it's gonna give me a green, but it's gonna give me like a deep green. And then what I like to do is I will then take a portion of that and add some white to it. Or, you know, take a portion of that, add more blue to make it so that you have different mixtures. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit here. I'm gonna take a little bit here. All right, so um, and I'm gonna take a little bit here and add more blue. So this will be a richer green. Okay, I'm gonna take this one, make it a little bit lighter. Ooh, I went way light. But we don't have to mix it all the way. I mean, that's the fun thing about the paints is like, you don't have to blend it all. And then maybe I'll just take a little bit here. This will be a really light green because it's got so much yellow or a lighter green than what we've been mixing with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and get a piece of paper for us to paint on. Now that we're done mixing all our colors, I'm gonna move this aside, or just on top over here. All right, I'm gonna grab the paper. And this can be any type of paper. I'm using just um, copy paper that, you know, I would send to my printer. Um, you can use the mixed media paper. So I have three sheets right here so that it doesn't soak through. 
So with this blank, what you want to do, I'm going to move this just a little bit higher. You can still see everything. Okay. Um, the first step is we always want to trace our outline or our blank so that we know where we need to go, like outside. So this is double-sided. So I'm going to flip it like this and we're going, I'm, I'm actually just going to paint really big, like a big space. I'm gonna do my outline so that I know for sure. And you wanna do your outline in pencil because it won't mark up your blank and then also the pencil's not sublimation ink so it won't transfer to your project. Ooh, well, it's okay because I'm gonna go way wide. All right, so here is my outline. I'm gonna put it aside. And I'm gonna just take my paintbrush. This is the color that I really, really like, okay. And I don't have a lot of water on this. You can add water, it will um, you know, glide more. You could do all the tricks and tips and tricks that you know about paint. Um, I sort of, sometimes I like having the coarse brush marks on there, um, but I should have a cup of water here just to mix my, but I'm gonna continue. Right? <laughs> and then I can use the same brush and get some other colors in there so that I can get different streaks going. And I can do, I can grab some of the gray. So you can see how much fun this is. You can do, you know, you can add a lot of layers and you can see how that works out. And I'm gonna... It's so fun. <laughs> and wait till you see, so I'm, do you see how I added just like a yellow streak in there that's not mixed in. So I'm gonna take that and I don't know, maybe I'll go from here, mix it in. And once this dries, you want it to dry because with the heat, it changes colors, right? And then it becomes permanent on the blank. So you don't wanna stain your project. You wanna make sure that it's dry. It dries pretty quickly. Um, but sometimes, you know, if you want to use a blow dryer, uh, one of the heat tools that we have, like I use the, the heat tool that I would use for embossing. And so I have that already. So, um, all right, let me see here. <laughs> so let's see what else. Um, I'm gonna do this again and I'm gonna grab some, just a streak of yellow and see how that goes. And I'm gonna get some more gray. Um, I've seen some people work and this whole sheet becomes just like a mix of colors and it's so beautiful in itself. I almost wonder if we should do mix this up and put it on something. I think that would look really good, like on a coaster. Um, and I might just do that. So let's see. I don't know if I want, I want to keep that kind of open. Let's see. I'm going to do just one more. Kind of have everything here. 
All right, so this is done. I'm gonna let this dry for a second. And then on this, you know, maybe I wanna mix some colors. Should we add a little bit more? I'm gonna just try and see what it looks like down here. Okay, now I'm done. Okay, but you get the idea. You can mix all your colors up here. This is on the website so that it gives you a starting point. And then from here, you know, like for instance, the sea glass, it is one portion emerald. And to get emerald, you would have done one yellow, five blues, and then you would add five white to it. So you can start to see that you can mix just an infinite amount. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for a second. I'm gonna turn on the heat press. So give me a second on that. I'm gonna plug it in now. And for the blank, let's see, it is, and I have it up here. I'm gonna turn it on. Let's double check the temperature. So I'm gonna put it up just to 400 right now because I feel like a lot of times it's at 400. Um, and we will just double check right now though. Okay. All right, so we want our blank. So when you go on their website on Artispre, since I'm here, you're gonna go to shop and then you're gonna go to blanks. And let's see where this awesome bottle opener is. It's on the second page. And there it is. So the bottle opener is going to be 400 degrees, 75 seconds. So I'm gonna change my timer to 75 and let it heat up. put it right here so you can see it and I'm gonna move let's move this over uh, the other cool thing is this you can this sheet you can put in a ziploc bag and stick it in the freezer and as long as it's not dry you can use it again so you know there's quite a bit of paint on there that we can definitely do again right now like normally I would just give it to my daughter but she is she's currently having a play date <laughs> so after this I'm probably just gonna stick that in a ziploc bag and get it in the freezer so that she can paint with it I mean she absolutely has a great time with it okay so I'm gonna get um, the you want to make sure that you have the protective sheet so that you don't ruin your heat press so let me pull that out So I'm gonna cut a piece. And then what's fun about this is after you sublimate this um, blank, you can, you know, like I can put vinyl on there and then bling it out with rhinestones if that's what you wanna go. <laughs> that's the route what you wanna do, you know, you could do that. Um, let me get the... The silicone mat out so that you know for silicone the sublimation can't stick on that so that'll be good okay so I'm going to I'm just gonna make sure this is dry so I'm going here is my little heat tool I'm just gonna plug it in and we're just going to quickly and I would just put, I have two heat settings. I'm gonna go for the lower one. So you can see, so this part right here is not dry. But all of that is, so I'm gonna take this out. Okay, so I'm going to do this 
side you always want to put I mean if this was one-sided you would put the side that you're going to sublimate straight onto the the paper the paint so I'm actually going to maybe do it right around here okay and then you want to get your tape down I'm going to tape it just so that there's no movement this is heat resistant tape it is important <laughs> To have heat resistant tape um, because it will melt your tape otherwise. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I feel like that's not going anywhere, so I'm good with that. Let's. So I'm gonna cut this off a little bit because we don't need it. Okay, so it fits on here. Um, I have my protective sheet right here. I'm going to flip this over. Do this. I want to make sure that the heat is on the whole opener. That's what I was trying to determine there. Okay, so it's 75 seconds on this side. We'll take a peek and see if it needs more heat. But isn't that fun? So I've done luggage tags, all my coasters, everything is like this rich emerald jade-ish green and uh, with lots of gemstones and rhinestones. And it's very much like the kind of art that I like. So I'm super excited at the prospect of having, you know, the paints to people who can really paint, I can't wait to see what you guys make. And like I said, a, a little goes a long ways. So I was mixing a lot. I mean, I think that if you had multiple people over, you could share that sheet and sort of start mixing your own. Um, that's a lot of fun. So you can now do like wine night, wine and painting, and then make it permanent and walk away with that. I think that'll be awesome. Okay, so here we go. The other thing is that I just realized when I said that, um, I've seen people use the same one, like the same press, this paper here, and will press it again on something else. It will come out lighter, but it would still, it would still work. So it depends on, you know, like the look that you're going for. All right, so it came through. Yay, so you can see. It's totally got the brush marks. I love it. This thing is really hot. I can feel it through the gloves. So I'm gonna flip it to the other side and we're gonna do the other side as well. So I'm gonna put that down. This is gonna go down. This one has more of the gray. I'm gonna flip it more on this side so that we get the gray. I'm gonna do maybe something like this. Okay. And I'm going to tape it down. And once it's not so hot anymore, I'll actually pick it up. But what's nice is I've done it with my fingernails. It doesn't scratch off. So, I mean, unless you're like absolutely trying to and, you know, taking like a screwdriver to it, it is... Um, pretty much family proof. All right, so I'm gonna put this down here. Oh, see, I didn't put enough tape. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit to where I want it, and I'm gonna tape it down better so that I can flip it over. And um, partially it's because it's so hot and I'm not picking it up in a good way, but um, it's always good to tape it down. Okay, there we go, so it's not going anywhere. All right, I'm gonna put it down and put, let me make sure, you know, I'm gonna do a clean sheet. I can see faint, faint lines of yellow on here, and I don't want it to transfer to my heat press. So I'm gonna throw this one away, 
and we're going to cut a fresh piece. Oh yeah, I already said it. You can press the same one multiple times. It'll just get lighter and lighter so you can see that. Um, I also kind of want to, I almost feel like I want to grab a coaster to show you what that looks like. So after this project is done, I'll show you what, because with the metal, it's kind of hard to see the colors. Um, so I'll do it on a white coaster, which I think I have right next to me so <laughs> it should be easy to grab um let's see and i think this would be so cute like on a uh like a bachelorette weekend bachelor weekend and you can personalize it with their um, initials or some kind of theme and that would be really cute to have in your purse or pocket maybe not a baby shower <laughs> a more um, alcoholic friendly event. All right, we're almost done. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, you can totally see the brush marks. which just gives it a more, you know, like that whole abstract feel. Oh, there, there, you can see it. Super pretty. All right, so let me do the same one, and I'm gonna show you on a white coaster what that looks like, because I feel like you can really, really see it. So give me one second. I'm gonna bring this back. We're gonna use the same set of paints. some that I've done so you can see what I mean about the whole abstract paint brushes and look at those colors so pretty um, okay so we're gonna do it on here and I'm gonna grab this well let me get my I'm gonna trace this so I know exactly how big So it's gonna be this little area right here, okay? I'm gonna heat this up again. I mean, I'm gonna use my little dryer thingy. Oh, the, the yellow comes through a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> it felt dry. All right, so I'm gonna unplug this. Give me one second. Let's put our blank down. Still really really hot. I'm gonna put it on top of my coaster. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to flip this over. And get my protective sheet. And I can't wait for you to see the difference between the metal blanks and what we just did because you saw it's the same colors that we're using, but with a white background, you're going to get a different look. So um, it's always nice to see it right away. <laughs> That's what's nice about these projects too is, you know, when you go and um, do it with a group, like you get your instant gratification, like you press and then everyone walks away with their project. I, I just think it's a fun, like family bonding um, experience and then I do a lot of work with kids and I think they would love this they do love I let them use my stamps and they made keychains and they absolutely loved it they also used markers some of them used part stamps and then drew in the rest and some went freehand and just drew beautiful little things that we put on keychains so I think it's just a great way to do permanent art <laughs> All right, we're almost done. 16 more seconds, and I can't wait to show you what that looks like. So all of these items are available on the Artistry website. Um, I highly, like, if you didn't want, if you couldn't get everything, I would get the paints. The paints are worth it because you could do so much with it. I would get the paints, and then I would get a couple of colors in the stamps. But then if you're gonna use the stamps, you need the markers. So I'm sorry, you're gonna need it all. <laughs> all right, let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna peel back this tape. I love it. Oh my gosh, I this is I this is totally my style. I would put this out, I would give this like as a housewarming gift, um, you know, in different colors. I, you can see the streaks of yellow just a little bit. Um, you can see all the details of the paint brush strokes. So this does look very familiar. I mean, I told you I love these colors. So I've been doing this a lot. Um, so I'm going to flip it like this so that you can see. So I'm able to recreate the same colors because I know that I liked that five to one of the blue to the yellow. And then if you make, mix it with a little bit of white, then you get that range that works so you can keep reproducing these colors. So look at these coasters. I did them at two separate times and I got the same colors. And let me show you what the, the, the bottle opener looks like. So the bot, oh, so you can kind of see it right there. I'm probably gonna put some vinyl on here and personalize it just a little bit more, maybe my last name or something like that. But I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. All right, have a great day, bye.